Hello, the purpose of this video is to provide an overview of how the ArcGIS mobile apps can be configured to support a timber cruising and inventory data collection workflow. There's gonna be two primary components of this workflow. There's gonna be a map for visualization, and then we're gonna have an app for data collection. So starting with the map, we see a, a web map here in ArcGIS Online that contains a couple of layers that you would commonly find in an inventory and timber cruising workflow. We see our cruise plot layers, and this would be the result of some process that we ran, maybe a desktop tool to generate the sample plots for our inventory data collection. And then we've got some reference layers here that show us our harvest plan outlines and also our harvest unit or stand boundaries. In addition to our web map, we also have a form that was configured in Survey123 to collect information about the actual timber crews. So these are gonna be the individual tree measurements and some other additional uh, descriptive information that we wanna collect alongside our measurements while we're out in the field uh, doing our data collection. And we'll get into, the, into this uh, here in a little bit. So back in the web map, I've done a few things. I've configured a couple of settings here with on, within my cruise plot layer. So if I click on one of my cruise plots, I see a couple of pieces of information. I see the plot ID, I see the stand ID, and then I also see a cruise status. So we're gonna actually use this map to update the status of all of our cruise plots so we can track the progress of our overall timber cruise. We also see a hyperlink here that is actually gonna be used to launch the form that we just looked at. So in the field, we're gonna use this form to launch from, or we're going to use this link to launch from field maps over into Survey123 to actually do our data collection since it fits more of a form-centric approach. Now the purpose of this web map is obviously to share with all, any of the field workers or data collectors out in the forest to actually support their workflow. So moving over to my tablet here, we can see the same exact web map accessed within our field maps application. Now I can take this map out into the field in a disconnected environment and use it for visualization and data collection. So we see my simulated location here on the map represented by my blue dot. Let's say I just got out into the field and my task for the day is to cruise this particular stand. I've got all of my orange dots here that signify that this stand has not yet been cruised. Uh, so I need to pick one of these spots and actually start my data collection. Within field maps, I've got the ability to select any of the features on the map and I can see descriptive information. I can see all that same uh, pop-up information that we saw back in the web map, the plot ID, the stand ID, and the cruise status. I can also see that link there that will link me out to my form. So before I do any data collection, I need to actually get to that plot location out in the forest. So I've got some tools here within field maps to help me do just that. I've got this compass tool that will actually give me a bearing and a distance from my current location to the target location here on the map. And as I actually turn my iPad around, I can orient myself in the direction that I need to walk. And as I start moving, I'll see my distance update as well. So this will allow me to get from my current location to this arbitrary plot location out in the field. Now, once I'm there, I can go ahead and open up my pop-up again, and I've got a few options. Since we're now at our plot location, we can start collecting data. So I'm gonna go ahead and click record cruise results, and I see that same form launch here on my iPad. And notice that that was a seamless launch of Survey123. It opens the appropriate form, and it's even passed some information through to make my job a little easier. So we see that stand ID and that plot ID come through from the feature on the map. And then I also see some pre-populated fields. Uh, I've got my cruise date and time filled in there. And then I've got my cruise ID that's pulling my username from Survey123. Now these forms can be configured to match whatever type of information you're looking to collect. So the appearance and the types of questions here within this form are, are completely configurable. This one is configured to capture the location. So that's gonna pull my current location the location of the plot in the forest where my device is and then i've also got three grouped categories down here the first one is going to be collecting information about my cruise specs so this is just a simple 
multi multi-choice question where I can define my sample type. And then as I answer that, I've got some additional fields or questions that I can fill information in for. The second group is my measurement group, and this is going to be the primary uh, group that I'm focused in. So this is going to allow me to, to collect individual tree measurements depending on the different specs that I have for the, the crews that I'm doing. So in this case, I can record my first tree. Let's say it's got a DBH of 14.5, a height of 42. I can see it's automatically calculating the basal area using a function or calculation on the back end. I've got a species drop-down list. Again, depending on the values that are important to you, you can configure this list to show whatever it is that you want. And I've also got a DBH class up there that was automatically calculated as well. Using the repeat function in Survey123, I can actually collect multiple records within the single form. So I can do the same exact thing for tree two, fill out all of my information, tree three, depending on the number of individual measurements that you're needing to collect at that plot location, you can do all of that here within that one form. Now, as I'm collecting all of my measurements, I've also configured the summary field to show me a result of all of the measurements I have so far. So you can see it's pulling my records for the first related uh, table or related record that I added here to this repeat. Uh, but as I add additional measurements, you can see those all uh, get added to that summary field there. And that's just going to give me a good visualization of all of the values that I collected. And if I need to go and change any of these and update them, I can simply scroll back here within my repeat and update those values accordingly. Once I'm finished, I may optionally collect some additional information, uh, maybe some comments. Uh, but really after that, I'm ready to submit my form. Now this can be done completely offline, could be done online. Uh, if it's offline, I'd just sync my, or I'd save my edits locally on my device, and then I would sync whenever I regain connectivity from online as I am right now. I can just go ahead and sync those results now. Now, once my data is submitted, I can jump back into field maps and I can actually update the status of this particular plot location. So since we collected our measurements, this one's actually done. I can go ahead and update my cruise status from no to yes update that point, submit my results, and then I can see that point change on the map from orange to green, signifying that it has been complete. After that, I would move on to my next location and repeat that process by adding additional measurements until I've completed all of my points or until I'm done for the day. That concludes the workflow here within the forest. Now moving back to the uh, web application, I can see any collected information, as long as it's synced from the forest back here in my web map. So here I see that location that was just visited. It's already changed from orange to green. I go ahead and click on that point feature and I can see the crew status change from no to yes. Now this information could also be visualized through a dashboard. So we could look at metrics and KPIs, like the number of plots that have been completed or uh, the different statistics associated with our cruises, you know, individual tree measurements, averages, uh, sums, really any type of statistic that we're interested in. We can configure a dashboard with different elements, charts, lists to see that information and have it displayed in an easy to consume format. Again, this was just a quick example of how the ArcGIS mobile apps can be configured to support a timber cruise workflow using out of the box functionality. Thanks. Mm -hmm.